What's up guys, Scott here from Nova Hardware and today I'm going to be showing you how to install a TP-Link 900 Wi-Fi card into your desktop computer. Let's get started. Okay guys, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to make sure your system is powered off and that you remove the side panel. You're also going to want to make sure that you disconnected all cables from the rear of your computer. So in our case, the video cable, in this case it's VGA, and the power cord most importantly. <clears throat> the next thing that's really important to do is hold down the power button, make sure you completely bleed the system of all power. The last thing you want to do is to install a card and accidentally short out something in your computer that you didn't mean to. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to turn it on the side. What we're going to do next is locate the PCI Express connectors. So in our case, this 16x connector, this 4x connector, and this PCI connector. The next thing we're going to do is remove the antennas from the Wi-Fi card. You can leave them on if you want to and put them through but I suggest just taking them off just for ease. The next thing we want to do is take the connector, line it up firmly with whichever one works best. So the PCI Express 1X connector here I believe would be most optimal because it doesn't use up as many lanes as if it were on the 16X connection and then it fits there. But imagine for a second now if you only had a 16X connector. Well. PCI Express is reverse compatible with all other connectors, so you can take it and fit it into this full length 16x connector if you wanted to. Just the rest of these connections down here wouldn't be used. But for our case, we're going to put it in the 1x connection. Now, the card that wasn't here before was this MSI R9270, which no longer will fit in here because it's being interrupted by this PCI Express connector. So we're going to take a riser and put it in here and we're going to move it over here. But that's for a different video because I don't have the riser yet. The next thing that you would do is you would install a screw in here but my brother seems to have lost the screw to his computer so it would be to reinstall the antennas. With the antennas reinstalled we may now reconnect the connectors. Turn the computer on and verify that everything worked. And it appears that everything has worked. Alright guys, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And hey, stay tuned for more videos on this channel. We've got an unboxing and review of the RX 470 from Sapphire, which is actually sitting right here on my test bench. And we've got a lot of other great videos, like an AMD A10 6700K video coming up very soon. All right, I'm Scott from Hardware Guys. Thanks for watching.